Now here comes Linda Wood opportunity there. Borgard just go ahead and make the save and we'll have a face off. Nice block though. Took a Ryapel took a lot off the shot. I think that was Branovan looking for his second of the night. Ryapel did a great job to block the shot. Was able to leave it in front for Borgard to smother. Here's Ryapel tries to play it off the board. This is Samando. Puck exits the zone. Lindenwood will have to reset. Again, opportunity from Lindenwood. Nice kick save there. 17 out there looking for the hat trick. That's Jake Guerin. Kentucky just ha having issues clearing the zone here. Samando doing his darndest and he finally clears the zone. At the top, there's a stand up and Borgard going the other way. Able to make the save and we'll have a face off. 2.34 remaining on the second period of action. So Jake Guerin with two goals tonight. And what right now those two goals prove to be the difference. Faceoff sitting dead just outside of the Kentucky zone. Lions cannot clear it. Puck goes into the netting and will stop play. 2.26 left in the uh, second period. Kentucky <laughs> once again trying to uh, snap a uh, four-game skid that ended the uh, first semester. Now back into the Lindenwood zone, McLaughlin will retreat. Here's Lyons now. Plays it off the boards, turned over. Oh, calling off sides there on Lindenwood. Another promo for the t-shirts. I say we go look at those at break. tantalizing, yes, I like it. When we take a break, we're going to go take a look at those. Puck sent all the way in. No icing called. Lindenwood thought there was going to be one. Play continues. Little pressure, though, from Kentucky as we are under two minutes remaining in the second. We'll see if the Wildcats try to put some pressure on and get one of those goals back heading into the second intermission. Now Vitt, possession. Dangerous pass out front there. Finally played out of the zone by Getz. Gets it up. The fit. Oh, Vitt takes a hard check. Big Very check. hard check. Big check by Justin McLaughlin. And now Hubbard's getting dumped here. Nice play from Vitt. Nice poke check to break it up. Now battle for the puck in behind the goal line here. And Coach Dockerty trying to send a message. Put some more pressure on Lindbergh. Maybe he can get one by him before the end of the period. Now battle for the puck here. Got four guys on it. Lindenwood defender loses his stick, and Vic comes out with the puck. One minute left in the second. Turned over, though. And now exit the zone. That's going to go the length of the ice, and we'll have a faceoff. Right, heads up play there by Lions. Jeremy Maletti was charging in hard on Borgar. Lions. Maletti slammed on the brakes right in front of Borgard. Lions just grabbed Maletti's glove, just kind of pulled him right around the side. You know, saying, you know, I'll keep you on your feet, but you're not going to take out my goaltender. As faceoff will come to the left of Borgard, Rohar to take it for Kentucky. But one by Lindenwood again. Shot off the inside pads of Borgard and goes five hole. And it is five to two now. I think that was Matt Pilgrim that got that. I'll wait for the official announcement from Mr. Jim Hinckley, but I believe it was Matt Pilgrim.
Borgard, a little bit dejected after that last one. He got a piece of it, but he didn't get enough. And Lindenwood coming right back, wanting more. Again, looking for a centering pass. Oh! Boy, Warmerall took the man down from behind. Surprise her, what a trip call. Yeah, he got away with one. There's a shot from Skirton, and we'll have a faceoff. Good call. <laughs> so, Pilgrim from Sevier is the official tally with 47 seconds left in the period, the time of that goal. Back to action here, 22 seconds left. Lindenwood, they're going to try and go for one more. Still plenty of time on the clock. Nice block by Morgan to pin it into the corner. Puck finally out here. Skirton lost his stick, picks it back up, though. Rohar tries to clear the zone. Six seconds remaining. Still an opportunity. Shot sails wide. We'll go up and head the right idea to try and go high glove side, but it just went wide. A big, big end of the second period. Three goals in the last 6-17 of the period. And Lindenwood goes into the second intermission in command with a 5-2 lead. Kentucky, perhaps some of that energy, initial energy from the First period wore off a bit. They're going to clean the ice off here. We'll be back for the third period of play, but this one looks like we're... Cat, uh, the Cats got their work cut out for yes. this. They're going to try and climb back into this one. There you go. 5-2 they trail going into...